principal the Sri Ram Universal School situated at Sonipat Road to Hagat, which is offering pollution free surroundings. School has well focused management who has always thought about the welfare of the society. The mission of our school is to recognize the uniqueness and individuality of each child, to provide all students a diverse education and equip them with lifelong skills to inspire all students to lead with courage, confidence and conviction, to collaborate with parents and community to create independent global citizens of tomorrow. The Shriram Universal School Rodak aims at the holistic development of each child by inculcating core values at every stage through the right blend of academics, activities and sports. School is affiliated to CBSC up to class 10 which was done in the month of June 2020 and now we have applied for upgradation of the affiliation of our school. School offers great opportunities for the young students of Rohtak. It is our goal to provide each and every student the best possible opportunity to become confident and thoughtful who are prepared for any future challenges. At TSUS, we are very proud of our caring, inclusive ethos. We are the set where we set high standards and expectations for our students to achieve their very best. We keep our classes and tutorial groups relatively small to create an atmosphere where a child feels relaxed and very comfortable. We provide safe and supportive environment to our children. Every child has some latent talent. The main objective of the Freedom Universal School is to empower learning and groom their talent. May it be linguistic, artistic or scientific. Welcome to the Sri Ram Universal School. This is 
breastfeeding on the far school as i am showing you here the senior and junior wing is shown here and uh, we have transport facility also here as it is shown in the model and we are having amphitheater and here sports complex where all the facilities are provided to the children for the holistic development now we have come on the terrace specially to cover the outer area of our school and just to all of you can see from here that is a cricket ground easily seen here and uh, soccer is also played here and basketball ring is also here right now buses are here we don't otherwise allow buses to come inside they are parked outside only the area outside the outside the boundary that is road which you can see that is also the area where our This is our amphitheater, and we organize our assemblies and functions in the outside area. This is our DG and meter room. All safety measures are taken. This is kept outside only, so that the children feel safe. And the outside road that is also belonging to school only. This is backside area of the school as you can see the ground here and swimming pool area is also covered here and then in front of it we are having botanical garden then the swings are there for the students to enjoy and we have hurdles here
regarding dicot and monocot. These are different joints which, by which we can show skeleton system of human body. Even these are the joints, hinge, pivotal and ball and socket joints. Then coming to this section, these are monocot and dicot stems as well as leaves. These are cross-sectional diagrams of those. This shows you a plant cell. This gives you an idea about the animal cell. These are different stem modifications and modifications of leaf. Above there you can see the life cycle of and, uh, different insects with a bird which gives you the idea about how avian life cycle goes on. Here we are, here we are having different lessons which gives you about, a clue about the diverse which are which are have been conserved for giving an idea about the diversity of life you can see here with the, these all are the plants all these are the parasitic plants then then coming to the next one these these gives an idea about the diversity in the animal world diversity happening in the animal world with with the life cycle of the cockroach this is life cycle of housefly and this is a adult plant. Means with the microscope we can see the cross-sectional and modified tissues which are present in the living world. This, this gives me an idea 
this gives me an idea how how different tissues can be seen with the modification with with magnification as well similarly here i am showing you the histology of esophagus that is how different tissues how different cells are present in different layers you can see with the help of microscope an idea of parasitic plants are present this this is an artworm again it comes under the diversity of life the, these these can be shown to this junior students also who who are very really, say curious about all these things this is the dissection of brain as well as this is the dissection of heart then human reproductive system this is for female and this is for male human reproductive system then homology of four limbs this this completes uh, this comes under the chapter of genetics in biology this is analogy of wings and diff different human organ systems different human organ system that is nervous system ear skeleton of brain section and kidneys human skeleton system which shows the skeleton system of the humans as well as it, it helps us in teaching for up to class 11 The chemistry lab, and my name is Mr. Lokesh. We'll be telling you about all that. Welcome, so, peers, in the chemistry lab. This is our uh, stove resistors. This is consumer stove resistors. Consumer, which is the chemical which is consumed in the chemistry lab. Chemicals which is already consumed in the chemistry lab. That is uh, as uh, mentioned in the stove resistors. These are alphabetically chemicals. They are there. Then starting from the alphabets A, B, C, D, and that's why like similar to the these are apparatus that is a more consumable in the chemistry lab. So the stove register is maintained similar as uh, alphabetically items which is already mentioned in the chemistry lab. That is uh, in the stove register. These are the our salts, which is arranged as alphabetically ordered, so that we can find out the easily salts. These are alphabets starting from the A. Here is a aluminium, ammonium chloride, cupric sulfate. Here is a alphabets B, C, similar like F, G, lactose, sugar. Here is a maltose. This is a indicators, methyl orange indicator for detection of acid and base. Now, these are the naphthalene bowls. Naphthalene for the synthesis of the naphthalene prepared before the crystallization is used as a sublimation product. This is a oxalic acid for the titration of the reactions, which is titrated with the potassium permanganate and the potassium dichromate for finding out the normality and the molarity of the unknown solution. Similar potassium carbonate is used. Here is a sodium hydroxide, which is a strong base. And then there is another salt, sodium sulfate, which is used for the as a acidic radical test, basic radical test. Here are the bases, and then these are the zinc metals, zinc granules metals, zinc in the dust form, zinc sulfate. These are testing solutions. And this one is a phenolphthalein, which is used for the detection of acid and base. Also used as a titration, uh, volumetric titration for finding out the normality, which is used as indicators. Hello, start. Lighter. 
is a pipette has two reagent bottles one is a volumetric glass beakers and the, this is a washing bottles also used as a reagent bottles similar same is the same material is placed on the every slab for the carrying out the experiment easily this is a measuring cylinder which is used by the students for measuring the any chemicals similar is a every tap there is a continuum of water This is a brush used for the washing the test tubes. Similar, this is a washing bottles which is used as washing the reagents uh, chemicals. Similar, there is also functional lab going on. The measuring cylinder of 250 ml for measuring the chemicals up to volume 250 ml. These are the uh, separated store room where we have stored the acids, chemicals which is out of reachable for the children which is maintained by our lab, lab attendants. These are chemicals we are preparing for the students practicals. So uh, these are separated uh, as a concentrated sulfuric acid, concentrated nitric acid is there uh, and concentrated hydrochloric acid is there, iodine solution is there. Here is a basically instruments uh, apparatus which, which is basically used by the lab attendant for preparing the chemicals as a dilute solution for converting di concentrated into the dilute solution. Here is the apparatus we have uh, situated separately by the which is used by the lab attendant for the carrying out the experiment easily for the, for the help of the, our students. So this is our store rooms which is basically separated part for the it's an electrical instrument which is used for the weighing the any chemicals uh, basically uh, in an accurate, accurate manner. It is a basically accuracy is there that's why we are using electrical instrument for the weighing of the any chemicals.
Now she will tell you about the library. Namaskar, this is our library and we are having, we are maintaining these reports. These are report registers. And this is our daily issue report register. We have around 2100 books available with us in the school for our students and enormous books for the teachers also are available here and uh, more than that we have uh, e-book facility also for the students. This is washroom for our ladies staff. In boys toilet we have three urinal points and uh, three toilet seats there. Total we have 15 toilets on all the floors. This is girls toilet and we have four toilets on each floor. All 20 toilets are there. Our drinking water point, and we have eight taps on each floor. We have centralized RO system, as shown you on the terrace also. This is our RO plant and one person is assigned duty. This is, uh, as you can see, this is closed. Every day one person comes to check it. That's all. This is our fire system. I'll show it's functioning to you. This is classroom for birthday color that is called KG.
classroom. This is classroom for class two. We are having same kind of rooms for class one, two, and three. This is classroom for class 6. This is classroom for class 9. This is our proposed classroom for class 11 science. classroom for class 11 humanities. These are the proposed rooms for class 12, 12 commerce. This is classroom for 12th science.
classroom for the humanities. This is our dance room and students come and do their practice here and enjoy their time. This is a pot, clay pot, and this is the photo frame. This is the photo frame. Like this side. This is on this side. There are some work on wood. And then this is this material work the border empty border and there are some pictures spring work step drop up
this is our dining area and around 200 students can easily sit and this facility is totally optional for the students it's not mandatory those who would like to have they can have it here and we have washroom attached nearby and that is uh, not washroom exactly it is area where they can wash their hands this is our role play room where different activities are planned for the students and they get a platform to express themselves confidently. This is our auditorium as you all can see and we have four courts here, international courts, badminton courts and where students continuously come to enjoy and they have their matches there and after that uh, even students from outside are also invited for that and they participate and uh, enjoy their time there. We have permanent coach here to provide this facility to all the students. This is our infirmary area and these beds as you can see are for elementary kids and these are for junior and senior students and there is partition also for boys and girls. We have, we have attached washroom here. Thank you once again.